Hey guys, what's going on? Today I will be showcasing the plugin titled Parkour by A5H73Y and Steve4744. I think this plugin is the absolute best parkour plugin on the market. It's been around forever. It has some of the most customization I've ever seen in a plugin and it's also completely free. This plugin is compatible with Minecraft versions 1.7 and above. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. The base command for this plugin is going to be slash pa set lobby and this pretty much sets the lobby exactly where you're standing so users are able to do slash pa lobby to get right into playing parkour wherever you set it. Alright now we can go ahead and get into creating our very first course. I actually do have this small little map made here. Uh, we could go ahead and run the command slash pa create followed by the name. Uh, we're on Barbercraft and this is made of stone so we're going to call it stone barb. And we have just created stone barb and this is actually going to be the spawn point. Now we can go ahead and set our checkpoints. We already have this marked here so we could go ahead and run the command slash pa checkpoint. And we have just set the first checkpoint. We have one more set for right here, and that is going to be checkpoint two. And last but not least, we need to set a finish block. You can run the command slash PA kit, and these will actually give you blocks with specific properties. So here we have the no run block, the climb block, bounce block, speed block, death block, no potion block, finish block, repulse block, and the launch block. Um, a lot of these have pretty self-explanatory names and we actually already had it placed already. And once you have your parkour all ready to go, we actually do have it 100% set up. We can go ahead and run the command slash PA finish. And as you guys can see, the ready status for stone barb was set to true. So now we can go ahead and test this map out by running the command slash pa join or slash pa join all and this actually allows us to view all of the maps that we have set up so far and as you guys can see we have quite a few already set up and we're going to go ahead and click to join stone barb and we have a few items in our hotbar right now this allows us to go back to the last checkpoint we can toggle the visibility of other players so we have it enabled we won't see any other players and they won't bump into us you can leave the course by this little sapling and you can restart the whole course by shift and right clicking on the stick so we're gonna go ahead and go through the course as you guys can see we got a nice little message that said we got checkpoint one done we're about to get checkpoint two there we go all checkpoints achieved and what's pretty cool in the config is you can set different parameters uh, that was a hot block back there, so that's why we had that huge hop. Ooh, that's kind of embarrassing that I just fell through, but it kind of showcases the checkpoint feature very nicely in my opinion. So we are jumping really high. Uh, that was a little bit embarrassing. If I start keep dying, I'm going to have to cut. Uh, anyways, this adds speed to us. It's, it's a little bit unfamiliar, and the angles and the perspectives are a little difficult. But we're about to land on the finish block. And there you go, we finished in 49 seconds and then I actually made this map to be a speedrun map. So that is a little bit embarrassing with two deaths, but that just means we got more opportunities for more people to beat my record. Let's go guys. What's really nice about this plugin is that most of the core settings you can actually edit within a GUI menu rather than having to go to the config. So we can run the command slash PA settings followed by the name of the course. And we are now in a brand new GUI menu. Here we can go ahead and toggle the ready status, reward once, which determines if you get rewarded once for completing the course or every time you complete it, challenge only. And challenges are pretty much exactly what it implies. You can challenge other users to the course, really cool. You can also go ahead and set the creator for the specific course. You can set the minimum parkour level, so the parkour level is actually sort of a way to restrict users if they aren't a high enough level 
to play on a specific course so they go back and finish other courses or grind specific courses. You can set the maximum amount of deaths so go ahead and set it to 10 and what that does is if a player dies 10 times on that specific course in one run they actually get kicked out of the course. Similar to max deaths we have maximum time where if we set it to something like one minute if the user doesn't complete the course in one minute they actually get kicked out. We also have a player limit as well so this limits the amount of players that are allowed on the course at a specific time so their limit is 10 and 11 people join the 11th person won't be able to join you could set the parkour kit uh, this is the kit that we're looking at right now but it is completely configurable you can set the parkour reward level so the current value is one so if you complete it it will uh, set your parkour level but what i like even more is the level increase so here we can actually set it so when you complete the course, your parkour level increases by two, which I think is really cool. We could use slash PA settings, stone barb again. Here we can set a reward delay, reward par coins, and what par coins are, they are simply a new type of currency they can use within parkour or with other plugins if you want to hook into it. Uh, it's still being developed right now, but it's a really cool feature and concept at the moment. You can also set the prize. So what we can do is just click on here, set it to material, and we can say something like diamond. And we could say 10 diamonds for completing the course, because obviously it's a really cool course that everyone should check out because I made it. Uh, here you can set the parkour mode. What's awesome is there's a ton of different modes in this uh, plugin. We have Speedy, Freedom, Dropper, Rockets, No Run, Free Checkpoint, and Potion. They all have a little bit of their own benefits and drawbacks. For instance, Dropper is sort of like the actual Dropper plugin, which is awesome. Because uh, in case you guys haven't noticed, there's not a lot of Dropper plugins out there that are any good. Um, no Run doesn't allow you to run at all. Rockets, I'll let you guys uh, check that out for yourselves. And free checkpoint uh, is a little bit more liberal with checkpoints and po potion has specific attributes as well. Just for fun, we can go ahead and actually set it to one of these modes real quick. And we can go ahead and run it after we made all these edits. Uh, just for reference, event message and event command are just for specific events being triggered like joining, leaving, if you want specific messages or commands to be triggered at that time. So let's go ahead and do rockets because it actually looks really sweet. And now we can go ahead and do slash PA join stone barb. And we have a rocket. So what this does is pretty similar to Halo or Call of Duty. We can perform a rocket jump, which if you jump and right click takes a little while to get used to but you're able to do a small little rocket jump for a little bit of boost and height. Uh, I don't want to embarrass myself here. You should never cheat in parkour, but this is just for video purposes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cheat to finish. And as you guys can see, our level has been set to three. Uh, we were originally level one, but we gained two because that's what we set it to. We gained an additional 100 par coins. So our new total of par coins is set to 200. Really awesome stuff there. One other sweet feature of the plugin is actually the ability to customize your custom block kits. So we can actually go ahead and run the command slash PA create kit. We can decide what we want to name with it. We can call it cool parkour. Uh, not very original I know. Would you like to start with the standard blocks? Sure. And then now what material do we want to choose? We could go ahead and do something like dirt. And what should dirt do? We can make it quite ominous and have it kill you. And you can also say, would you like to add another material? We could say, sure. What material do you want to choose? We could go ahead and set it to cobblestone. And what do we want cobblestone to do? We can set it to bounce. The strength of bounce right now it's currently default at five what duration should it be we can go ahead and set it to something like 50 
and do we want to add another material we can just say no and to make sure that everything works all in order we can do slash pa kit followed by the name of the kit pool parkour and as you guys can see we have dirt and cobble as the matching blocks that we wanted so really cool to see it update right then and there really quickly you can also go ahead and link a kit to a specific map so you could go ahead and run the command slash pa link kit stone barb cool parkour so the parkour kit for stone barb was set to cool parkour perfect and that is how you add in a parkour kit to a course last but not least i have a little bit to show you guys about some of the sign usage Obviously the most essential is to make sure players are able to join the map. A lot of people are just really used to joining through signs. So we go ahead and set it to parkour in brackets, followed by join, and then the name of the map, which is Stone Barb. And we can go ahead and click done. And as you guys can see, the join sign has been set and made up quite nicely. We can also go ahead and set up a leaderboard sign so we could go ahead and do slash brackets, parkour, bracket, leaderboards, and the name of the map, which is Stone Barb. And you can also set how many entries that we want to see. So let's set it to 10. And as you guys can see, if we click on colors, it just shows the top five scores. But if we click here, it actually just shows the top one because it's just me that uh, completed the course. That is going to do it for my basic parkour plugin tutorial. I'll leave a link to download this plugin down in the description below. I'm also running this plugin on my Minecraft server Barbercraft. I'll leave the IP down in the description below if you want to go ahead and see this plugin in action. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll be sure to see you guys later. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Peace out, guys.